Let's take a tour of TED Ed. You've probably heard of TED Talks. You may have even heard of TEDx events. But there's TED Ed, which is taking some of those talks and animations and things and setting them around an educational focus. It's not the easiest website to navigate, but I do want to show you a couple of tips and tricks and show you where really great content is available. I should tell you this is great for grades 4 through 12. Um, definitely more secondary than you're going to find in the elementary range, but there are a few gems here and there for the elementary students as well. When you're at TED Ed, we're going to scroll down here and you can see a little bit about, um, you can make lessons here for students. I don't think you need to. There's a possibility in here if you want to explore all that, but creating accounts for students, I think it's just easier to take content from here, move it into something like Edpuzzle or um, create your own activities go along with that. Um, and one thing that is interesting, I think, in here is there's actually tips and tricks for you to run your own TED event sorts of things at your school. So, and that's for children ages 6 to 18. Um, if you would like to have your students do speeches and tell their story in a TED Ed kind of experience, there's resources in here to help you get started with that. But let's jump back up and we're going to go into Discover. And I'm going to jump into lessons. And you're going to see that there are pages and pages of videos with the different views that they have. These are all in YouTube. So anything that you see in here, you can find at YouTube. But I think this is a great website just kind of narrow down what TED Ed offers and get you started through a few things. Um, we're going to jump over here to the right hand side and we're going to choose filter. And you can pull things down by age range, content, how long the video is, or if you need things with subtitles. You can choose more than one filter at any time. So I'm going to jump over here and let's do elementary just to see what we have available. And I'm also going to choose that I would like these to be under six minutes. We're looking for some short pieces in here. Here we go. How does it grow on cranberries? That's a nutrition piece, but that's also really great for regions of the U.S. as cranberries are a big part of New England. But when we pop in here, you've got your video. Just right? roll puff so pastry dough. Ads, Just unroll and be a pastry that. chef. But when you get of to the all video, the fruits farmed in the United States, we're going to take a look a little further around. Over on the right, I want you to notice that there is a section over here for Think. These are questions, Think Ed Puzzle kinds of activities where the students watch the video and then they would have questions to answer. Dig deeper, that's going to give you websites. Sometimes they'll even um, have other articles built into this space. Some discussions if you want to add to a discussion board inside of TED Ed. I'm not going to recommend that for students, and especially to see how old some of that is, I would probably skip the discussion piece. And then they do have um, websites for you to go explore if you're interested in those. But most of it, we're just going to jump into the watch piece of it. Once you play the videos, of all the fruit, you can go ahead and jump directly over into YouTube, which will take you to the page here. Of course, I get another ad. The has failed. But if you are using something like Edpuzzle and have the Chrome extension for Edpuzzle built in, you can just start your editing of that straight away right here if you're interested. Um, but that's how you kind of narrow down the videos. Let's jump back into Discover Lessons. I'm going to jump back over there for a moment. And then I'm also going to pull over by, oh, let's choose middle school at this point. And I'm going to search by newest just to see what is new and out there. So one is on how to clear icy roads. And that particular video from SciShow is going to unpack, like, why is it? What are different ways that can be done to clear the roads for ice? What's good for cars? What is bad? They're going to give you the science behind all of that. It's kind of an interesting video. I would encourage you to take a look at that if you're interested. Um, what is a flying river? That's interesting, right? And then the human future of human rights. This one is in different languages, which I think is kind of interesting. But these are videos that have been published within the last few weeks. So you can explore in here to see what is new. Um, I'm going to jump down into the lower level to see what's new in here. There's that salty roads again. 
But let's jump into, oh, it's because I still have the middle school selected. There we go. Um, can you solve the fortress riddle? Myths, how pigeons took over the world. Here's the story of Anansi the spider, which really could go down into our younger grades if we want to use that. Why do flamingos stand on one leg? Just really kind of interesting pieces in here. I also can search right up at the top. So let's say that I'm looking for Romeo and Juliet if I am a freshman English teacher. We pop over in there and it will allow me to narrow down those pieces. Notice that I can favorite some of these videos. If I do that in my account and go to my library, it'll hold in there for me to come back to it later. So you can favorite things if you create an account in here to, ex to explore at a later date. Again, if I would pop into this particular video, let's pop back in there. I'm going to, oh, I'm glad this happened. Some of the videos here at TED Ed show up with this video restriction piece, but here's what's interesting. If I copy the title, uh, let's go into, can I go back one and copy the title? Should you care what your parents think? And I jump over to YouTube. And paste that. Here's the video and it will play on that side. And I think many of those are based My father on found it. Um, just some wonky things on how they were embedded on the web, on their TED Ed website. If you find a video in TED Ed that you need to show and you need help along with that and it's not playing for your students, let me know. Give me, a, give me an email link and I'll do what I can to get that opened up for you. Okay, finally, um, there is also a collections option in here where you're going to see things by topic. Superhero science, let me pop over there. Superpowers were real, a super strength. What if they were real with body mass? There's some science physics kind of goodness in there. Um, there's a whole piece in here around biology and health. There's a whole lot of really interesting pieces in those areas and then myths from around the world this is one of those that i think is really fascinating if i am covering sixth grade social studies or if i'm doing world religions if i'm covering anything that would be a tale going along with um, ancient civilization whatever it may be you might find some really um, great storytelling kinds of pieces in here pandora's box Prometheus, Icarus, and Daedalus, you'll have um, a lot of these pieces in, in here that we reference in other bits of literature, um, or you'll see these being referenced in science. You could share the stories with the students as well. So those are the discovery sections of the lessons inside of TED Ed. Like I said, it's not the easiest website to navigate, but I think it is worth an exploration. And yes, you can do all of these inside of YouTube as well. But if this is a great place to get started, to browse what's available, I recommend it.